Right now it's 606 and all new this morning, parents in Prince George's County say tobacco shops are too easily accessible in the community and it's impacting their children. One school board member even writing a notice to shop owners. Randy Ayala joins us now in studio and Randy, you spoke with parents about issues they say need to be addressed. Yeah, good morning, Allison. You know, the county council recently passed a bill limiting certain functions of tobacco shops operating within the county, but shop owners have another two years to implement those changes and parents want action now. There's just way too many in they're selling to our kids. Atia Haynes has a daughter attending Central High School in Capitol Heights. It's not just a Central High School issue, it's a PG County issue, an issue across the country. She says they live less than two miles away from the school and there's four different tobacco shops they pass daily. It worries me because who knows what they're getting. District 6 School Board member Brandon Jackson recently sent this letter to shop owners in the county. It reads in part, quote, businesses in the tobacco industry, specifically within my district, have broken federal and state tobacco rules by selling tobacco products to our scholars. I could not stand by and allow this to continue. I have um, talked to security personnel and they're like, we're recovering that type of tobacco paraphernalia off of the students, bringing it into the classroom, smoking in the bathroom. A spokesperson for PGCPS said vape detection devices were installed in four bathrooms at High Point High School as part of a pilot program. And since installation, the school has seen less vape violations. No word on if the district plans to expand the program. People who live in Prince George's County want shop owners to put the community's health first. I'm looking for these folks to put constraints and not to put profits over our children. PGCPS recently won a settlement through Jewel to support anti-drug work in schools. And just want to mention neighboring school districts like Alexandria, Stafford, Fairfax and Montgomery counties have all installed vape detector or detectors at some schools. Allison. All right, Randy, thank you so much for that. You can see uh, the parents there, the elders are concerned. I, I get it. Thank you so much. It is